Hey everyone, it's Dustin here, the Pro Picker. I'm here with a thrift store video for you guys. This is actually today, so you're getting same day footage here. Almost real time, right? So, I decided that I was just going to go ahead and hit three different Goodwills today. Um, two of them are ones I don't hit a ton on the channel. One of them's uh, one of my more regular spots. So, I start off at this Goodwill here and I gravitate to the new clothing rack. That apartment nine, it would cost like $5.99, so I do pass on it even though they're new with tag. But these true religions should go for about $30, $32 plus shipping, so not so bad. And then I see this birdhouse, and it's like a two-story birdhouse. It's like a bird mansion. And honestly, it's $12.99, it's brand new. I figure I can't lose. Comps are kind of all over the place, so I'm expecting somewhere between the $75 to $100 shipped range, and I'll probably just ship it in its original box, slap a label on it, and send it out once it finally sells. This is one of those items I think I'll get more money for as we get closer to spring if I still hold on to it, but I'm just going to list it and try and move it because it's kind of big. Then I find this King Cobra 7, it's uh, a wood, a 7 wood, and uh, it's a senior club actually. I think I'll get about $35 shipped for it, so not too bad. Uh, moving on over to the Christmas stuff, I find this Linux 2015, it's a reef ornament. That's just the style of it, of course it goes on your tree. The snowflake one goes for like 30 plus, these are a little bit all uh, over the place I don't think it's as strong of a buy as the Snowflake one, so hopefully I get at least 20 ships so I do make some money on it um, once we get into the season, which we're real close. These GE lights, I'll probably lot all three of these together for like 35, 40 bucks. And uh, once we hit uh, decorating time, I think they'll move pretty quick. I always like to buy the GE stuff if I can get them for a buck or two brand new like this. And uh, they are marked at $1.99 a piece. Here I am, I'm looking up these cut jeans, cut in the cloth. I've heard of the brand before, so it kind of made me want to look at it. It's not bad to pull out your phone every now and then, guys. It's not rude, it's not disrespectful. It's always good to want to be curious and want to learn. So I learned that I probably don't want to pay $5.99 for it. Really good buy for somebody that's looking to wear them. I'm not obviously looking to wear them. I'm looking to flip them. And uh, now I know. If I see cut in the cloth for a couple dollars, I might purchase it in the future. So here we have this uh, Nature's Guide uh, pillow here. Now they have a ton of them. And I'm looking through all of them real quick here. Just trying to sort, uh, uh, see what's up. And the cervical queens actually do pretty well. They're like 50 something dollars on, um, on eBay right now. And um, the rolls here are actually pretty decent too at like $30. Um, nothing crazy, but for $1.99, why not? And the uh, queen pillow being uh, $4.99 respectively. So we're doing pretty well on them. I do sort through all of them and only pick up the ones that are brand new. Uh, they are Amazon returns, it looks like. I, I don't know. Um, the Goodwills here typically don't deal in Amazon returns, but this one had a few. So why not? I go ahead and grab those. Maybe they were donated or something. Somebody had purchased several of them, but there were a lot of used ones, and I just decided to, to not move on those. But definitely a good buy, because I know they're going to sell. The sell-through is like 80-90%. There's like 13 listed and 10 sold. And I did make sure to check inside the birdhouse. That was the original tape, but I couldn't tell if it was really the original tape. Um, I just gave it a quick glance because some it was rattling and everything. It looks like it's never been opened before. So I go ahead and grab it. I'll tape it back up. I'll disclose that I opened it to verify contents and uh, shouldn't be a problem, but it was one of those circumstances where I needed to. I go ahead and head into another thrift store. Guys, um, please comment down below any questions that you have for me. I'm gonna do some sort of Q&A video or video segment soon. So let me know down in the comments below. Uh, stay till the end of the video and I'll explain more on that later. 
With that being said, I go ahead and head to the back. I grab this baby Brezza sanitizer. So really like the new and the pre-owned boxed ones are kind of hovering around that 50 and $60 range. I don't know if this is gonna be the strongest buy I ever made, but I go ahead and pick it up at $9.99. I think we'll do all right on it. There were a couple uh, pre-owns that sold for a little less than I wanted, uh, like $30 um, plus shipping. Um, I do find this TP link though. So guys, this is actually pretty solid. This is the Powerline edition and it's more valuable than the non-Powerline edition. I think we're going like in the 80 plus range uh, for it being new. This still does have the plastic on it. So I highly suspect it is new. However, even if it's pre-owned, we'll still be at like $60 and it's $5.99 uh, plus tax here at the Goodwill. So one of the better buys for sure of the day. go ahead and box that back up so uh, we're good to go always good to verify your purchases and oh yeah I was checking out the Samsung blu-ray player guys $24.99 is what they had marked on it it's actually like a home theater system and I looked it up and they range from like 25 like plus shipping to like 80 something dollars shipped um it just wasn't enough margin for me i have a lot of that stuff i still need to test and get listed so i'm buying it when it's dirt cheap and available and uh kind of putting it on the teff pile right now honestly we've been getting a ton listed especially after that video game lot in tuesday's video which if you haven't seen yet make sure to go check it out it's a very large video game purchase where i basically purchased an entire collection and we've been uh listing that for about two weeks now with some other stuff mixed in there but we're definitely getting the store filled before the uh, holiday portion of quarter four. So I go ahead and head into a little bit more familiar territory. Uh, I do look around at the video game section. It's typically where I like to gravitate to. And this copy of Fracture actually was a, what I would have to sell as a disc only Modern Warfare 3. And so I do pass on that because 299 just won't work. I do grab this Elgin clock and uh, it's actually brand new. Um, the comps are really all over the place, so I'll have to get back to you guys on that one. However, this power grill I thought would be new. They had it marked at $39.99, but it, the parts, the handles are in a Ziploc bag. It looks like it's been used once. Probably one of those situations where somebody used it once, left it on their countertop for a couple weeks, realized that it really just wasn't for them, then put it out in their garage for about four to six years, and it ended up uh, it ended up get, at Goodwill. Yeah, I would really only be interested in that in a new in box scenario or open box even unused at that price point of forty dollars. But I do go ahead and check out and I uh, get my clock here, hoping I get at least like forty bucks for it. I have seven ninety nine, and maybe I'll I'll be able to. Uh, Get even more. Who knows? We're going to have to find out together, I guess, guys. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and get into the wrap up here. Some decent thrifting finds today. So I actually had an appointment this morning, nothing major or anything, and decided that I was going to hit a couple different thrift stores that I normally am not in the area for. I occasionally have went to these in the past. One of them, the first one there, is actually one I did a half-off video on um, not too long ago. However, I've typically pretty much written off, and that's why it's important to always go to thrift shops that, I mean, I'm not saying go every day if they have higher prices than that you would like to pay on most of their things. But, you know, it's nice to check in and make sure that there hasn't been a pricing shift. Sometimes thrift shops realize, hey, 
we're not selling enough stuff because we're priced too high and they'll lower their prices some. And I think that might be what's happening at that one. So pretty happy uh, to, you know, make some buys there because that means they're open for business and I don't have to just walk in and leave and be like, hey, I didn't find anything. Let me know in the comments down below if, you know, there's something I passed up on that you saw on screen or whatever and you wonder why. Um, wanted to let you guys in on a little follow up with one of the bigger purchases that I've made recently. The Halloween poster that I purchased for $250, I sold for $799. So basically $800, $100 more than I expected when I did the math on if I was going to purchase it or not. So that's awesome. And we pushed for a little bit higher to help make up for the other poster that we had, Scanner's poster. And uh, yeah, overall, really stoked with the purchase and it's nice though know, when you do kind of take those risks with like the higher dollar single items to actually get a nice payback it will be more than a double up so super stoked really happy about that figured i'd let you guys know i know a lot of the regulars are kind of curious sometimes what actually ends up happening with these items and there you go there's some follow-up and one more thing gonna have a question and answer video style. I don't know if it'll be entirely a Q&A video or if it'll be part sourcing, part question and answer, but I need you guys' help. Comment down below any questions that you have for me. I won't be responding, obviously, to your comment, so don't be upset that I don't answer in the comment because that would kind of ruin the purpose of having the question and answer video or video segment. But yeah, basically anything that you want to know about the resale business, my personal life, within reason. <laughs> and I will try and answer as many of them as I can. Just, you know, clear the air on anything that you're, you've been curious about. But yeah, honestly, pretty pretty excited to do something a little bit different. Um, I'm not saying sourcing has slowed down, but sourcing has slowed down a little bit. And it kind of has to for me. I need to be really focused on getting what I have listed, especially going into quarter four right now. So something cool, something different to do and try out. So let me know, guys. And with that, I am going to wrap it up here. Thank you so much for watching. Really do appreciate the support, guys. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell notifications. Of course, as I mentioned, comment down below. And follow me on Instagram and TikTok. It's at ProPickerOhio. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.